Salutations, everybody. It is Maddie here today, and you know me. There is absolutely no way in hell I'm shutting up about KOTOR after one video. We talked about the rumors once. No, we've got more because there are new rumors that we need to talk about. One of the biggest mysteries with this Nice of the Old Republic remake, remaster, reimagining, whatever it is, is that we don't know who is working on it. Plenty of sources, mine included, have said that you're never going to guess who that developer is. But after some job listing research, I think we may have a good idea of who. Plus, in today's video, we're going back to some old rumors, seeing how they've aged in comparison to new rumors. And overall, lots of speculation, a lot of digging here today, and a big discussion video. It's going to be a longer one, so get cozy. But you may have noticed we have the camera out a little bit wider, and that's to include our new display here, Fable. We love Fable here on this channel, and that's because Displate is sponsoring this video, so let it roll! A lot of you out there have asked me, Maddie, why do you still have a Christmas tree up? And it's because I partnered with Displate. For every Displate sold, they plant a tree. Seriously, 13 plus million planted already. Displate, they've got 1.4 million designs ranging from manga to games, sports, history, and it's all beautiful. Their website features tons of collections that you can browse through yourself from Cyberpunk to Disco Elysium, and you can even make your own collection and save it to your profile and quickly delivered at that. This got to me lightning fast. And speaking of lightning quick, we got Xanatsu here. So each of these plates are printed on demand. They have a little master of production seal on the back so you know that it's authentic, it's true quality here. And it's simple to set up. It literally comes with the setup here on the back. You just go ahead and lay it down. You put it on a magnet and that's it. You hang it up. So if I can do it, and I'm not really good at this stuff. I know you can too. This is going in the background of the video immediately. We got my girl Makoto, yes! So there's a discount available. Just go ahead to the link in the description down below. Click on it, it's available for two weeks. If you order one to two disc plates, you get 25% off. You get 35% off if you order three or more. Like I said, it's available for the next two weeks. So go ahead, click the link in the description down below and start decorating that office space, that gaming space. These are fresh. And I've been supporting this company for a number of years now. So to partner with them, it's super cool. So thank you to Displate for sponsoring this video and I hope you guys enjoy. So a couple weeks ago, we saw Lucasfilm Games completely rebrand. And in that rebranding, they had stated that they had invited developers to come play in a galaxy far, far away. Specifically stating, we're looking to work with the best in class teams that can make great games across all of our IP. Now, no matter how Disney approaches canon or whatever, I don't care. The Old Republic is included in that IP. That is a fact. So that gives us a little bit of points there. Then the post continued on by saying that throughout the next year or so, we're going to continue to announce projects that are more representative of the legacy of the old Lucasfilm games that we're trying to live up to. So the Old Republic was major for the old Lucasfilm games, amongst many other Star Wars titles that I'm sure we all love out there, like Republic Commando, Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy, the list goes on. But point being is that this was a major part of the old Lucasfilm games. And also, we know that an announcement is coming sometime within this year. And that game very well may be the new Old Republic game we're talking about today. At least that's what some of my sources had suggested. Now, like I said, one of the biggest mysteries here is who is making this game? I did a ton of digging, right? I looked at Archetype Entertainment. This is a brand new studio that has the lead writer of KOTOR there, as well as the lead designer of KOTOR heading up the studio. This seemed like a perfect match as they're working on a new sci-fi RPG in a brand new universe. And now, since my sources had suggested that this could be something like the High Republic instead of the Old Republic, if it is a reimagining, then maybe that is that quote, new universe. But it seems like that may be a little bit far-fetched. Still, some of the talent there matches up. However, some of the community did digging and they found Asper Media. Now, this is a studio I never considered, but this very well may be it. For those who aren't familiar with Asper Media, they have been known for porting games to mobile devices. Now, I know that may not build confidence, but more notably, they've done fantastic ports for Knights of the Old Republic 1 and 2. So you can play them on your tablets, you can play them on your phones. I've done it before. The ports are great. Furthermore, they're the team that fully upgraded KOTOR 2 on PC. So mod support, widescreen support, better resolutions, bug fixes, all of that was by them. They also added achievements in 
as well. So they've been tinkering with the KOTOR franchise for a while. Their most recent release was Knights of the Old Republic 2 on mobile devices. They finally completed that. More interesting though, is that they finally breached the console space. They've been just porting things to mobile devices for a while, but their first approach to the console space was actually bringing Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy, as well as Jedi Knight, Jedi Outcast 2 over to Switch, PS4, and Xbox. So they had been tinkering for a while now on console releases. This is important important because it's very representative of a team that not a lot of people talk about and that's Sanzaru Games. Sanzaru Games worked on the Sly Cooper HD collection for years. They released it on PS3 and then guess what they did? They made Sly Cooper 4 because they said they were studying the franchise and I think that was the smart choice because I think Sly 4 is better than outside of Sly 2 the rest of the series. So I think that Asper Media is taking that route but that's just not pure speculation. There's a ton of job listings. They're hiring for a AAA RPG that's using Unreal Engine 4, and more notably is the recent hirings they've made. Take a look at some of them on screen. Let's read them together. Daniel Hayden, Principal Narrative Designer, spent a ton of time at BioWare working on Star Wars, Mass Effect, and Anthem. Courtney Woods, lead writer, now working at Asper Media, worked on Star Wars, The Old Republic, Knights of the Fallen Empire, another Bioware vet. Furthermore, Jordan Koch, senior world designer, had worked with Bioware for a long while as an associate designer. Andrew Loretta, animation lead, worked at Bioware for an extremely long time, especially on Star Wars, The Old Republic. Paul Marino, cinematics lead, also a Bioware veteran. You see what I'm saying here? A lot of Bioware vets have been working on this game, whatever this AAA RPG is. And given Asper Media's interaction with KOTOR, the only studio that has been interacting with it for, I'd say the last five years, because that HD kind of update I was talking about on Steam for KOTOR 2, that happened in 2015. And now they just ported the game in the winter of last year. There is something happening. They are continuously working on this franchise, and I think it's because they're studying it for their very own AAA Star Wars RPG. This would also fit the bill of what we've been talking about, a studio that many sources are saying you will never guess because it's not really a household name. They're known, but not super known. They're not your first thought. Even I, who studies a ton of KOTOR, and I'm not saying it like I'm some genius, but I study this series a ton. I talk about it all the time. I obsess over it, and my first thought was something like maybe a don't nod maybe a spiders i was thinking of those more reputable studios but i really think asper fits in every way shape and form and especially all of those bioware hirings that is extremely telling to me whether they're trying to make their own bioware like rpg because i've mentioned spiders in my original kotor video since they've openly said we want to fill the void that bioware left go ahead look up the quote they they have literally said they want to fill the void that bioware left so there are studios that want to do that maybe asper is one of those teams but i can't help but find it very suspicious that they've hired a lot of people from bioware austin who have worked on the old republic for their own triple a rpg and this is happening at the same time as Lucasfilms open in the floodgates saying we are inviting developers to make Star Wars games from across all of our IP and we just saw that in tandem with a Ubisoft Star Wars game we know the EA license is going to expire and they'll take the Marvel route working with tons of other developers this makes sense it makes so much sense now time will tell but for now I think this is the best speculation we do have on where this series may end up being so pay close attention to Asper they did a really good job with the PC updates for KOTOR 2 and once again this came out for free it was completely unsolicited like it just happened one day I was over at my friend's house and I was like I gotta go home I gotta make a video on this right now now, I also promised we're going to be revisiting some old KOTOR rumors and whatnot, and I wanted to talk about one that happened in the beginning of last year, and that's when Cinelinks had reported once again that Knights of the Old Republic remake may be back in the cards. Now, what's interesting is Cinelinks, as well as this writer, Jordan, had originally broke the story many years ago that KOTOR was coming back, and that Bioware Austin... Bioware Austin, the same people who are getting hired by Asper Media, hello, do you see how this is all connecting? Bioware Austin was working on a Knights of the Old Republic prototype. Jason Schreier had eventually come out and said, yeah, that's actually not happening, that project has been put into stasis. 
EA is not really interested in pursuing it. So now it makes sense why maybe this is all transferring over to Asper alongside a lot of Bioware Austin. But anyway, this article from Cinelinks reads, according to one, the previously mentioned Knights of the Old Republic remake is back in development. My other source added to that saying that they felt it wasn't so much a remake, but a sequel of sorts. It would be a Knights of the Old Republic project that would integrate elements from the first two games in order to bring certain things into the current Star Wars canon. Not necessarily a remake, more so a reimagining. Now, what would make me very happy, this is best case scenario right here, is we see them take KOTOR 1, KOTOR 2, package them together, achievements, trophies, couple of quality life enhancements, updated visuals to some extent, nothing crazy by the way, nothing overhauling it, just like up the resolution of the game, up the frame rate of the game, and then release it. Call it a day there, $20 port job and just end it right there, and then separately do a reimagining. Because what I want is for them to preserve history. Right now, you can't play Knights of the Old Republic on any PlayStation system whatsoever that is extremely unfortunate you can only play it on pc and xbox now i know there's maybe some licensing stuff to leap through but when there's a will there is a way lots of companies have showed that in the past so i'm not going to be ignorant here and sit down and be like well i guess that's not going to happen if they want it they can figure it out and of course given all the buzz that this story has brought to the table this is absolutely 100 something that i think companies would be interested in figuring out but the other point here that i'm trying to make is leave the port right okay now everyone has access to the original material then go do your reimagining if you're going to change anything with kotor i want it to be separate from what i love and have that love preserved forever for other people to experience for generations and generations what started what is this reimagining that would be a best case scenario a lot of the hard work is done they've ported it to mobile moving on to switch at the very least i can't believe that kotor isn't on switch that is ridiculous but anyway as you can tell rumors have been floating around for a long while now way back many years ago right like five years ago it started and here we are now talking about a new set of rumors. It doesn't even stop there, okay? Because we know that Disney as a whole is interested in the Old Republic. Just listen to what Kathleen Kennedy had to say when asked about what's going on with the Old Republic. Knights of the Old Republic, a lot of fans want to see that. Is there any development you know, of that? We talk about that all the time. Yes, we are developing something to look at. Right now, I have no idea where things might fall. Now, this occurred when actually some news had broke that a movie based on Knights of the Old Republic would be written by Laita Caligridis, who's known for Shutter Island, as well as the underrated Alita Battle Angel. And three sources had disclosed this to BuzzFeed News. Apparently, Caligridis is close to finishing the first script of a potential KOTOR trilogy. So, movies, we already have the books and comics, then you have the games. I mean, you see it all coming together here. This big picture, it's all coming together here. I don't know if it'll end up being good, but still, something is happening with this license. It is only a matter of time. I know a lot of people take me as the KOTOR fanboy, the guy who's not thinking logically, and I get it because I love this series so much, but I hope people realize with all of these years of coverage, my constant nagging for about the last year and a half that it's happening like it's coming back like these rumors don't all just surface at the same time for no reason between a movie trilogy kathleen kennedy confirming they're looking into kotor although they can't confirm anything's happening now i had my own sources report in multiple other journalists have had their sources report in something's happening we can't guess the studio but an asper media is hiring people from the company that was working on a kotor remake originally that got put into stasis come on come on this all lines up all too well but anyway enough from me that is it for this video here today a lot of speculation a lot of sauce here to discuss so i leave it in your very capable hands it's your turn to speculate i want to hear what you've got what studio do you think is working on this series what do you think is happening with kotor do you think it's coming back as the high republic as i had reported very well may be the case do you think that they're going to reimagine what the old republic is how are those movies going to turn out there's so much happening and of course we will continue to be on top of it here on this channel so now once again i pass it off to you let me know what you're thinking in the comments down below other than that follow me on twitter follow me on instagram those links are in the description down below big thank you to all the patrons all the members who continue to support the heck out of the content here appreciate each and every single one of you and i'll talk with you soon stay sexy stay active i love you all peace